For this video I'm going to show you how to do a source card for a book. Now we're using the 3x5 cards right now. We're not using the great big 5x8 cards. That's for when you're taking your information down from the source. But we're just using the 3x5 cards. Now each one of your source cards is going to be numbered differently. So this is my first source card so I'm going to put the number 1 up here in a circle. Okay. Then I'm going to put the name of the author of my book. See Peter Arnott on the card, but I put it last name first. A R N O T T comma Peter and with a period after it. So that is the author of my first source. Then I'm going to put the title of the book, The Theater in Its Time. The Theater in, whoops, sorry, that should be capital I. Is it? No, it's not a capital I. Oh well, don't worry about that too much right there. In its time. All right, you underline the title of a book and put a period after it. Now notice how I indented the second line. When you're doing citations, they're the opposite of paragraphs. You have to indent the, the turn lines, they're called, every line after the first line. The first line's all the way out to the margin. All the other lines are indented. After the title, you have to put the city that the book was published in. Now, you have to find that by going to the title page. All right, you see here, it has the publishing company and it has two cities, Boston and Toronto. Put the first city that it says. So I'm going to put Boston and then a colon, the two dots. Okay, Boston, colon. And then you put the name of the publishing company. Here it says Little Brown and Company. Oops. Little Brown and company. All right. And then you put a comma after that. Sorry, little brown and company. Put a comma after the publishing company. And then you have to find the date in which it was published. That'll be after the title page. Turn to the back of the title page. That'll give you the copyright information. And you can see, well, maybe you can't see. I haven't got the right angle here. It says copyright 1981. So you put copyright, or you just put the year 1981 and a period. And that is how you cite a book source. Now, you'll do different cards for each one of the books you use, and each card will have a different number, and that will be clear why you have different numbers later on. Okay? If you have any questions, there are resources in the classroom for how to do this, and the citation is different for websites and interviews as well, and you'll need to have both of those kind of sources. Uh, the next video I'll show you is how to cite a website.